and welcome back gamers this is SKS with the Battle of Front Royal last video I tried to argue with myself that it was the Battle of Fort Royal but I was wrong I've already read this but we can go over it again the rebels surprised the 1100 man garrison and quickly send them packing the Union's only hope is to fight a delay in action head for the hills and pray for reinforcements but unknown to the fleeing Federals rebel cavalry is riding to outflank the Union forces the Union needs to maintain its position on the hill the artillery battery should concentrate on attracting rebel forces while infantry protect the battery from close range attacks. The rebels should have no problem knocking the Union off the hill. The rebels cavalry should prevent the Union reserves from playing any part in the battle. Stonewall won a major Confederate victory at Fort Ward Royal, losing only 50 of his own men. Jackson crushed the Union garrison. His cavalry pursued the fleeing Union soldiers, took 750 prisoners, and left 154 dead or wounded. After severing the Federals' communications east and west, they rode down and crushed the retreating forces at Cedarville. Of 1,063 Union soldiers garrisoned at Front Royal, only 159 escaped. 750 ended up in southern prison camps. Um, the way that it... The game actually has this battle set up right. I mean, it was Stonewall Jackson versus John R. Kinley. Um, that's what the JR stands for. And it's pretty accurate that only about 36 Confederates died. Um, this takes place on May 23rd, 1862 in Warren County, Virginia. Uh, this is still the Shenandoah Valley Campaign. Uh, the biggest thing they say about Stonewall is this is how, he knew, how to use topography maps. And, you know... He goes in and takes the place and knocks him off the hill. So theoretically, if I lose this battle or get a draw, I'm an idiot. But we know how that works out, gamers. So let's actually get right into it. If I can get the sleep out of my eyes since I just woke up and I wanted to record early because I start a new master's class here Tuesday, which I'm sure you all care. and. Uh, my first assignment is to read 150 pages about the President and the Constitution. So, yeah, that might fit right into it. So if I start lecturing you all here in future videos, you know, you'll just have to deal with it, but that's what I do. Let's move on. Alright, Stonewall Jackson loves to drink orange juice in the morning before a battle. So turn one out of 23. Here's our cavalry here. Ooh. Florney, Flournoy. Ashby, Watts, and Smalls. That's very nice. I like that. And are you kidding me? There's only 48 and one... 17, 15, 16, 9, 17, 46, 10, 28. Um, do they even have anything else up here? Where do reinforcements even come from? Um, I did turn that on, right? Is there no reinforcements? Let's move this map over. It's a very odd shaped map. I don't see any reinforcements areas. Um, no, sir. I didn't want you to do that anyway. I wanted to look at my reinforcements. Do we get any reinforcements? No. If this is all we're dealing with, and this battle really is just that, I'm gonna laugh. I would say the North will get reinforcements. So let's let's march my cavalry over here. I find this hilarious. Because if we can get up there and get that hill quickly, um, and then I just use my cavalry as a tactical, hey, shoot at us and don't go down there. This is going to turn out very nicely. Let's see. I don't want to change your name. So I could shoot you there. I wish I could go ahead, but that will... I need to remember to set up a area of attack. Hmm. And we do want to take Richardson's Hill, because that will be glorious. Let's go ahead. 
I like the railroad tracks. I've not really paid attention to those any. Let's move you here. I want to move you guys over here. Because I want to route this unit fast and not have to worry about them. That looks good to me right now. I need to let some of these units rest up here in a minute, but watch them have like 20 reinforcements come through. But I don't see any reinforcement areas. I just. It makes no sense to me. Usually it shows the enemy's reinforcements. But uh, maybe I've hampered them so badly in the last couple of battles that they just don't have any reinforcements. I say that knowing good and full well that they will have reinforcements. Um, as long as we go up here and take this hill, because they're going to have to get reinforcements right here near Cedarville, because that's, that's what the beginning thing said. Did you guys even move? No, so you're going to sit there? Okay. That makes sense to me. I mean, if you want to sit there and be stupid, you can. I don't really understand your reasoning, but... Yeah, you all know what I'm going to try to do. But we're going to send you guys up to the hill. Let's see if we can get you on the back side of the hill. No, sir. Yeah, I know they're going to get shot at. That's just how it works. Alright. Oh my goodness! Why you shoot me, white boy? Let's move this cavalry on forward and see what we have coming. No, I'm sir. still very surprised right now. I really don't know what to think about it. Let's go ahead and move you guys up. I think I might use you all here in a second. Oh, I really wanted to attack there. Let's see. I'm going to attack you there. You're probably, I was going to say, the defensive volley is going to be too much. But that gives me a chance to do a rear attack. Because I want to beat the shit out of this unit and get rid of them. If you are the only ones on the map and you're that stupid, you're going to pay the price. SKS does not respect your bullshit tactics. Yay. I love the part where they failed. Well, they're falling back. I will have cavalry waiting for them when they do. I have to make sure that they don't fall back to, uh... I need to get a little beat up. I'm kind of in shock. Let's go ahead and supply these guys. Yeah, you all are in trouble when I come through their artillery. I hate to tell you. see what we can do here. Let's move you here, you here. Holy shit! Look at that! That looks beautiful. Alright, let's go up here. That's a cool little road they got. I just want to go up here and see what's going on. Is there any more, uh, victory points. I mean, I know there's a way to show those on the map. There we go. Okay, I think we've actually claimed, they're all just, wow. So yeah, this, this, hmm. I don't know, gamers. I really don't have a clue. It's a terrain hide right here. I'm just gonna leave you guys right there. And I'm 
want to have you here. No. <sighs> Let's throw some units. I wanted to rest and resupply you, but obviously I can't. Maybe since the brigade had no choice but to surrender already. But the defensive volley was too much. Wait, what? My guy surrendered? No, okay. I was about to be like, what the fuck just happened? I was going to get so mad that I was literally going to punch a hole through this wall and make a new window. Holy shit, I got like... Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't do that to me, game. Yes, I want you to charge, and I want you to take them! Yeah! <laughs> Can I just go ahead and declare victory? <laughs> really? Can I go ahead and declare victory? <laughs> I want to save game. Let's save as... Let's go back to Civil War Generals. Um, let's go to the command tent. Uh... I know we don't have a lot of controlled hexes, but I, I really don't know what to say right now. No, sir. I'm sure they'll bring more people. Oh my god. <laughs> oh <laughs> greatest victory ever <laughs> as I said before I love the part where they failed <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah, we'll save. Again, gamers, like I said, if anything but absolute, anything but absolute, a minor victory, I'd route them off the field and it's a minor victory? Okay. I don't know how I could have got any more victory. But whatever. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and put the stuff here. I don't think there's anything to really say about that one. This video is pretty much a wrap. Alright, our guys are getting healthy. We got a few, uh, promotions. Um, we have three guys we have to, uh, Get in better shape. Range 14, attack power 16, range 9. Gee, we need some better uh, artillery to choose from. Why you not have enough money to get better weaponry? Come on now. And gain money there. PGT Boulder God here. Well, there's not really anybody, uh. That one group's the only one I really wanted to, uh. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Ashby's been in a lot of battles. We'll, we'll go ahead and upgrade him. Yes, my weapon purchase is. Alright, next battle is the Historical Battle of Winchester. The Union troops hold good position around the town. Their artillery should be able to break up the rebel formations. Once the reserves arrive, a formidable counterattack can occur. 
The Rebels need to keep the Union artillery occupied in a counter-battery fire with their own artillery. Once this is accomplished, they should take Union positions with massive assaults and prepare for the Union's approaching reserves. When Major General Nathaniel Banks learned that the garrison at Front Royal was gone and the Confederates were closing in on Winchester, the Valley Pike from Strasburg ordered the uh, excuse me. He ordered a hasty retreat down the Valley Pike from Strasburg. Banks deployed at Winchester to meet the rebel pursuit. By the end of the day, the Federalists had lost over 2,000 men, and the Union's plans for converging on Richmond were completely disrupted as thousands of troops were diverted to the defense of Washington. Excellent. How long is this battle? 24 turns. Gamers, we will take care of that next time.